Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a daily upload. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy indent in Filmora 10 or 9. It doesn't really matter, but for this, I'm using Filmora 10, so let's just get right into the video. So first, what you're going to want to do, you want to grab your clip and your music. I just, I already synced it up. This is my music. So I already got it in sync. So yeah, I already got it in sync, that's all right. I'm gonna show you how to also do the sound effects and effects in this video, but not go too in depth for that. I'll do that for another video if this video gets 10 likes and I'll show an in-depth tutorial on Filmora 10 on how to add cool sound effects and effects. So this is just a video making indent, indents. So first what you're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna go to your title, you're gonna grab this so it's called basic you're gonna call you're gonna do edited by Wait. edited by preferably i i make it lo all lowercase um and so yeah so you want to grab this fault font berlin sans fb this font is actually pretty sick so as you can see there's no like animation so what you're gonna wanna do to fix that, you're gonna go to animation. You're gonna scroll down until you find, so you're gonna scroll down until you find down up to. So this is the one that you're gonna want, down up to. So you're just gonna double click that. Okay, so then you trim the, the text until it's at your liking. So you're gonna grab this, you're gonna grab the same text. You're gonna go down. You're gonna put in Berlin's Berlin Sands FB, and then gonna write whatever your name is. So for me, I'm gonna put Savvy Edits because my name is Savvy Edits. But there's no animation, so you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna see it'll automatically be there. So I think this this is a really good spot to end it you want to press on this you're gonna go to preset you're gonna gonna go advanced so there's a bunch of things here so you're gonna go you're on customization tab you're gonna go on color you're gonna switch that check that text border it's blue outlined right now but you're gonna want to do that complete white you're gonna do that and that you do the exact same thing it has like a cool border so i'm gonna do the exact same thing over here so as you can see i just did that really quickly it's very it's fairly simple so simple so now we're gonna go in just a tiny bit of effects so right now i put the clip on mute so i'm gonna grab some sound effects see so what you're gonna want to do you're gonna i'm gonna mute this so you don't have to hear so you're gonna keep going frame by frame so until you see that you're gonna go right before you're gonna grab this and as you can see right here it's a bit trimmed so you can at you can maybe do this and now it's not perfect but it will look really good and then what you're gonna want to use here because so right here you're gonna use the shield all shield damage break sound effect you're gonna make that a bit lower because you want to hear the pump sound effect and make that this and then wait that's a bit delayed so you're gonna gonna you're gonna make it so right here and so it just like syncs up all together it it's really good so then you have the you have the bounce pad so right over here he places a bounce pad he's about to place it you're gonna i'm gonna mute the audio so he places the bounce pad right before you're gonna grab the all bounce pad sound effects 
and then they're gonna trim it again just a bit and you're only gonna go to here you're gonna make this a bit lower so you got the bouncer sound effect and now you're gonna grab the bass swoosh so you're gonna put that all the way up and this is how it looks so now we're gonna go into a bit of effects so right here don't so as you can see we're gonna split clip and then we're gonna do and we're gonna split it again right here we're gonna do slow-mo right here 0 0.5 and then as you can see the beat drop so you're gonna you're gonna make that two times fast you're gonna go to effects you're gonna go to included all right you're gonna go i have it on favorited but i'm gonna go to included and you're gonna search up hue hue shift and then you're gonna put it over here so as you can see you can mess around with the settings so basically you different ones i'm gonna keep it on this pink one this actually looks pretty cool and now we do this we grab color distance trim it maybe to over here and this is how it look so yeah thank you guys so much for watching that was just a simple tutorial on how to do it and yeah have a good day guys